Hi guys! Hello. Good morning! How are all of you this lovely morning? I think uh, it's a little chilly out. It is cold. Yeah, very, very cold. Hopefully, though, you guys have been able to play out in the snow before. Did you love the all that thing. snow? I don't even think I've ever seen this much snow, Miss Marisa. Um, I have a few years ago. It yeah. was kind of like this, but I haven't actually like gone outside in the snow in a long time. It's been crazy. Yeah. But hopefully you guys have been able to enjoy it. You probably didn't get a snow day. That's the only sad part right yeah. now. But maybe you got to build a really cool snowman and you want to let us know down in the comments and send yes. us a cool picture of it. I would love to see some pictures of that. Or even if you went sledding or something Ooh. like that and you have some fun pictures of that. We would love to see that. We love to live vicariously through you yes. guys with all I your energy. I love seeing all your fun pictures. <laughs> um. But we, okay, wait, I forgot. I forgot to ask them how last week was. Oh, yeah. Did you guys do church online with your family last week? Did it go well? Was it was it a little scary? Because it's something new. Yeah. You haven't done this a lot. Like, maybe it was a little intimidating. Did you guys get to watch Pastor Joe and Sarah make pancakes? It made me hungry for pancakes. It made me want pancakes, too. Yeah, we had eggs, so we didn't have, like, pancakes. I made and, bacon. Mm, bacon is always good. <laughs> um, but, so, we also have a new month this month. We do. We're in February. It's already February. I can't even believe it. So, guess what that means? Hint. It's a new word. 
new word and new Bible verse. So I think that maybe I'll go over the new word with you guys. And this one I think will be so easy for you guys to remember. It is an easy word, mm -hmm. unlike some of the hard ones we've had. So our word this month is kindness. Kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. That is an important lesson to learn. Yeah, I think we need a lot more kindness in, in our world, world in general. Yes, and you know what? You guys can be the start of that. Kindness is one of those things that I think the it's more contagious. you do it, yes, it spreads. And it spreads in a good way. That's a yeah. good thing that we want to spread. Like when you sometimes when you go through like the Dunkin' drive through You'll be like the 18th car that has like paid for the car behind them and you get free coffee, but then you get to bless someone else. That's my favorite thing. Yes, that's so fun. Or with all the snow outside, I know that my boys ended up going out and they helped the neighbors shovel their driveways. So I know you might not like to shovel, but that's something kind that you can do mm -hmm. for somebody else. So I don't know. I think it's exciting to be able yeah. to spread kindness. But I think right now, do you have a silly question for us? I do. This month, we're going to do some would you rathers. And the would you rather for this week is, would you rather have one eye in the middle of your forehead? Hmm. Or would you rather have two noses? Hmm. I think I would want two noses. And I was going back and forth on that. But Miss Ashley had a good point. I was like, if you have two noses, does that mean you can smell all the gross smells? But I could smell two candles at once. Yeah, or two birthday cakes. I mean, not technically two, but you know, you know. The, the good smells cool. too. All the good stuff. Yeah, so I don't know. One eye in your forehead might be kind of weird. I feel like you wouldn't be able to see as well. But feel a little you know, balance, you might have maybe? a different opinion. So let us know down in the comments. We would love to hear. And we'd love to hear <laughs> your silly reasonings. Yes, but I think right now, should we check in? To the so and so show? I think we should. Maybe John and Brandon will be back this week. Maybe. That will be fun to find out. Are you guys ready for it? Let's go find out. Okay. coins get those coins get oh man I mean, everybody knows that's a trap i can't believe you did that what that's so awesome hey welcome to the so-and-so show i'm john and i'm brandon Woo! Did you know that an estimated 145 million greeting cards will be sent this month? Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, people have said that the greeting card is a go in the way of the dinosaur, a, a dodo bird, or gremlin cereal. Ha, ha, classic. But I say no, I'm a huge fan of greeting cards. Me too. And do you know who else I'm a fan of? Who? Oh. Mail carriers who deliver those cards. So it's time to play rain, snow, or hail. You still get your mail. Woo! Yeah! <sighs> Ooh, these are nice blue shirts. Here's how this works. Brandon and I are going to climb aboard our mail mobiles and deliver greeting cards filled with kind words to the mail baskets you see here. The first person to deliver a card to all three of these destinations wins. Sounds kind of easy. <laughs> oh, well, I forgot to mention the snow, hail, and rain. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, you did. You did forget to mention that. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Go! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Hey, I got oh, one. I got one! I got oh, one! I got one! Oh, oh the rain! Man. Oh, it's Woo! snowing! It's warm, warm water! Woo! Oh! Hey! Oh, oh, I got two! Woo! We're tied! We're tied! I'm getting so wet! Oh! oh!
You know what? I think I'm done with this game. Yeah, me too. So, Brandon. Yeah, John. We're going to address the uh, Hans in the room. Oh, I think we should. <laughs> Me too. Ha, 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 ha. Hans? Hans. 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 That is my name. Do not allow it to slowly erode through over usage. Uh, everyone, this is our friend Hans. Uh, he thought it would enhance the overall sound atmosphere of the show if we had a studio audience. So This is correct. So we put him in charge of getting one together. Yeah, th then we had second thoughts. So we tried to call him to cancel, but apparently Hans doesn't have a phone. This is correct. Ha, 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 et cetera. What? Ha, 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 et cetera. <laughs> What's so funny? Did you bring your own sign holder? He comes with me everywhere. He's very quiet. Why are you the only person in the audience? Ah, I called some people, but no one came. I thought you didn't have a phone. This is correct. I do not have a phone. But I do have a window. Hello, people. I am Hans Decibel, audio engineer. You will come to a show with me. You will have a great laugh. Ha, ha. But no one came. But not to fear. I brought a dummy and a change of clothes for variety. We're going to get back to the show. Yeah. Yay! <sighs> It's uh, Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hurrah! And more phrases like this. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. We've got a Hans in the studio audience. Yay! You have a studio audience? Yeah, but don't get used to it. Boo! Take it away, Kellen. All right, then. It's cool that we have a fan in the audience today because it actually goes along with what we're talking about. The truth is, we can all use a fan sometimes, right? When we're feeling down or when we've messed up. It helps that we have people in our lives who are kind of like our cheerleaders. Oh, that's our cue, oh. Jackie. I heard it, Dee Dee. We're here for you, Kellen! Yeah, go Kellen! Woo! And sometimes it helps to have actual cheerleaders. This is Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. They are here to cheer us on. But not only that, they're here to help teach us how to be cheerleaders for others. Does that sound about right? Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're... Jackie, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this, Dee Dee. to one another. Sometimes that's all it takes to be someone's cheerleader. Just be kind. But don't take my word for it. Here's what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians. Be kind and tender to one another. Sounds simple. And it can be, especially if you're being kind to people who are kind to you. But Paul goes on. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Sometimes people aren't kind to you. They're rude even. How do you respond? Are you kind and forgiving like Paul wrote? Or are you rude back? What do you say, cheer squad? 
Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee. What do you say when you gotta forgive someone? Oh, I say this. I forgive you, I forgive you, not because it is kind, but for what price is done. I forgive you, I forgive you. Woo! We should be kind and forgive not because it's easy, and not even because someone has earned it. We do it because of what God did for us. He sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. Now, that wasn't easy, and we definitely didn't deserve it. But that's how much God loves us. That's how kind he is. And that's why we should be kind to each other. Well, help us remember what we've learned, cheer squad. You ready, Jackie? I was born ready, Dee Dee. You know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. Here we, Here go. we go. K I N D N E S S. K I N D N E S S. What can you do when someone's life's a mess? K I N D N E S S. How can you help them with all that stress? K I N D N E S S. It's not always easy, this I must confess. K I N D N E S S. But we should do it because of God's faithfulness. K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S Woo! K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S is how God expects us to treat one another with kindness. Now, let's give it up for the cheer squad. Yay! Go cheer squad! Go cheer squad! Great job, cheer squad. Way to go. Go cheer squad! Kindness sounds so simple when it's in a cheer. Yeah, but we know it can be hard. Kindness is one of those things where the more you do it, the easier it gets. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you guys on the flip side. You know what? He's right. Kindness does get easier the more you do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start right now. Hans, I'm sorry. I should be more kind to you. You really are a great audience member. That's just great. I poured my heart out like that for nothing. Well, hey, you know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. <gasps> you're right! <laughs> oh, reveal the question! What does kindness look like? Oh, it looks like this. Yeah. Uh, it could also look like giving up your place in line or saying please and thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Or, or it can be big stuff, too, like uh, letting go of a grudge and forgiving someone. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hans is back. Yay! Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I... I, I... <sighs> Well, I think that's our show. And it was a good one. You did great, John. Hey, so did you, Brandon. Thank and you. so did you, Hans. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see you next week. Aloha. Woo! <laughs> Hi guys. So, what did you guys think about that? 
We had John and Brandon back. Yes, so that's exciting. And Helen was there too, so we got the full trifecta. Yes, because I know you guys have missed them. You have brought it up almost every <laughs> single week. <laughs> Even your parents were bringing it up on the live last week. So, I mean, everybody likes John and Brandon. Yeah. Um, but what did you think of their question? How can you show kindness? What are some different things that you can think of? ways that you can show it. Can you guys write it in the comments or maybe talk about it with your parents? Mm -hmm. I think what I might try to do this week is, hmm, I'm trying to think of what I should do. I might do something kind for my kids. Maybe make them their favorite meal. They like to complain that I don't cook very often. So I think they would be surprised if I made their favorite meal. Yeah. I know I like when people make my favorite meals. Yeah. So what can you guys do? Can you guys think of anything? Maybe help out around the house or maybe they could do their homework without being asked. That could oh, be really kind for your moms and that dads. That would be a kind thing to do. Yeah. Or maybe see if your mom has needs some help with something or a brother mm -hmm. or sister. Mm -hmm. There's, There's all lots kinds of, things. of options, but you guys. But I think right now... Maybe we should do the memory verse. Yes. So we do have a verse this month. Yes. It's our brand new verse. This one's found in the New Testament. It's in Colossians 3, 12. Mm -hmm. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly holy and dearly loved. If I can read today. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. That is a long one, mm -hmm. but it is a good one. It's just such a good reminder. I think Paul wrote that to the church at the time. So Church of Colossia. Yeah, so that is such a good reminder for you guys. So I know you might feel a little overwhelmed. That might be a long one to memorize, mm -hmm. but you can memorize the concept of it at least, and that is mm -hmm. to show kindness and be gentle yeah. and patient. Yeah, so I, I think, think when good. God tells us to hide the word in our heart, he doesn't always mean that we have to know it all word for word. Mm -hmm. I think he means that we need to understand it and know the concepts and know that we're loved and that we yes. can love others. Yes, and that's what he showed us by sending Jesus to save all of us. Mm -hmm. That's the best example of kindness there is. So how about I pray with you guys? And then Miss Ashley and I are going to go and we will be back next week. But let's pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for every single kid that gets to watch this um, church service today, Lord. Um, help them to be able to participate with their families and maybe with some friends, Lord, or even come to church and see us in person. We love every single one of them, Lord, and we know that um, you have special things planned for their lives. And right now, though, Lord, we want to ask you to help them be able to show kindness this week, especially since that's what we've been talking about, and to work on that, because the more you do it, the easier it gets. So thank you, Lord, for all the kindness that you've shown us. Be with every single one of these kids this week, and we can't wait to meet them back here again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So it was so nice to hang out with you guys for a little bit this morning, and I hope that we can see them again soon. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul Got a reason for this joy I can't control I wanna sing, I wanna dance And give everyone a chance To hear about this in this life I know in the
this love I know What you give to me is not for me to keep It's for the world to see your love you 